You captured Maddie and saved the world. It was nothing, Your Honour. Nothing? We've risked life and limb. Yes, but that's what's expected of us, super special secret, super special agents. That's why they give us medals. Yes, well, I, but I'd love to... you haven't saved the world. What? You may have captured me, but you haven't got the machine. By noon tomorrow, there will be a new Ice Age. Relax, Barry. The ruby that Maddie's got is a fake. Of course, it's the one that Dan lent us. Exactly. Phew, that's a relief. So we have saved the world. Of course we have. Which brings us back to the small matter of the medals. Don't worry. We've arranged a discreet event for you. This is the address. So where are we eating? Supper at the Savoy? Dinner at the Ritz? Neither. Tea at Grand's? We haven't had that since Dan's seventh birthday. Do you remember we had sausage sarnies, banana fritters, fried Mars bars and... Grand's jelly. My spoon bounced right off it. My jaws got so stuck together I couldn't speak for a month. There are some upsides to it, then. That'll be enough of that. We haven't told her we've lost a ruby yet. Right. I'll just pop to the opticians. What for? She wouldn't hit a man with glasses. Barry, how lovely to see you. Come in. I've got all your favourite treats for you. See, Paul, I told you. Stop being so silly. Oh, he's here too. What's he doing lurking in my shrubbery? You better get him out of there before he treads on my prize azaleas. Now then, I think there's everything you could want there, Barry, isn't there? Oh, yes. Very kind. Well, actually, do you think I, I was actually... talking to your brother? Yes, well, I thought I could change well, this. Well, if you don't the... want it... Thank you. I'll save it for afters. Make sure you leave room for dessert. There's jelly. Jelly? Now then, where did I put that jelly powder? Uh, you mean you haven't made it yet? It'll only take a second. My jelly powder is very quick setting. <laughs> like glue. Strange. I know I put it down somewhere. Uh, Barry, why don't you help Gran find it? OK. Silly how one loses things when one gets to my age. <laughs> um, talking of losing things, yes. um, well, uh, you, you know your ruby, the one we were looking after? We've lost it. Tell your brother not to be so ridiculous. Of course he couldn't have lost my ruby. He couldn't, but it was in your safe. We were guarding it, and then it wasn't in your safe. Of course it wasn't in the safe. I took it out. You, you took it out? Of course I did. Who else would? I wanted to put it somewhere for safekeeping. You mean all this time we've been looking for it and it wasn't missing? You had it all the time? Oh, I didn't have it. I gave it to my grandson to look after. You gave it to Dan? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think... The fake ruby Dan gave us... Wasn't a fake at all. But the real ruby? No. 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 Because that'd mean... Maddie's weather machine's got the real ruby in it. Which means... The weather's going to go crazy. Going to? I hate to tell you this, Barry, but I think it's already started. So do you think Maddie's weather machine's already started, then? I definitely think so, Barry. So what are we going to do? Well, there's only one thing for it. Buy an umbrella? No, we'll have to find the machine ourselves and deactivate it. Yeah, but how are we going to find it? No problem. I've just invented the Chuckle Patent weather detection device. You have? Yes, this. Come on, Barry, to the Chuckmobile. It's going mad. We must be nearly there. I don't like it, Barry. It's too quiet. Don't worry. I can sort that out. You can. Yes! There you are. It's not quiet at all, is it? I'm talking about the weather. We must be in the eye of the storm. 
Well, it could be worse. We could be up its nose. You're right. We've got to find Maddie's weather machine. Come on, it's this way. I think we're getting warmer, Barry. You speak for yourself. I wish I'd brought a cardi. No, I mean we're very close. Of course we are. We're brothers. I'm talking about the weather machine. Look! There it is. At last! We've done it! We're heroes! We've saved the world! Twice in one day! They'll have to give us medals now. Definitely. Yeah, not only that, they'll probably build a statue of me. Just of you? If you insist, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, we'll be on TV, radio, my face will be on every magazine in the country. Don't you think we should disable the device first? Perhaps you're right. Wake up! No, Mum. I don't want to go to school today. I've got tummy ache. You'll have headache if you don't stop messing about. Now, wake up! What are you doing? You were talking in your sleep. Get away. I wish I could. Look! Whoa! Ah, Mr and Mr Chuttle. So good that you could join me. You! I'm sorry to leave you hanging around. <laughs> hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be laughing for long, Mr Chuttle. In one hour, the whole country will be turned into a giant ice cube. Maddie will be freed and take up a rightful place as leader of the world. Well, we'll stop her as soon as we get down from here. Don't worry, Mr Chuckle. You'll get down here soon enough. Let me shed a little light on the situation. The thing is, when the candle burns through the rope, you drop in the pool. We're not afraid of a bit of water. Maybe not. But are you afraid of a lot of... Piranhas! Oh! Yes, there are the fish. And you, gentlemen, have had your chips. Farewell and bon appetit. Quick, Barry, blow the candle out. <laughs> it's no good. I don't want to end up in a pool of pyjamas. They're not pyjamas, they're piranhas. If they were pyjamas, I wouldn't be scared. I don't know, I've seen some pretty scary pyjamas in my time. Well, pyjamas or piranhas? We're going to end up with a fate worse than... worse than... Grand's jelly? Yeah, Grand's... Hey, that's it! Paul Chuckle, where did you get that from? No time for that now, look. Oh! Oh, dear. Oh. It's working! Yes. If I know Graham's jelly, it'll set like... Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I promised you a raise, didn't I? Life with you certainly has its ups and downs. Talking of downs... Oh. 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 That was lucky. Yeah, a few feet over there and we landed on that trampoline. Look, there he is. He's getting away. But Paul! What? You don't like roller coasters! Oh, oh! I'm not getting away from me! You're not going to. Oh, oh! Ah! Oh, oh! 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 Ah! Oh, Barry, you should be doing this! with my eyes. I don't know. Do they do bloodshot?
no good, Barry. We're going to have to go faster. We could do with one of those dogs. Husky. OK. We could do with one of those dogs. Oh, forget it. Just keep scooting. Am I in heaven? Paul! Obviously not. Hey, great! You've caught, um, um, what was your name again? Merck. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mr. Merck. I'm Barry. This is Paul. <laughs> OK, Merck, hand it over. All right, but let me just hold it for a few seconds more. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Paul, look! Hey, why? Just a few seconds more, and then the temperature will drop to minus 30. That's even lower than your maths exam result. Come on, give it to me now. No, won't. Yes, you will. Won't. Give it to me. No. Give it to me. No. Just give that to me. No. Will you give that to no. me? No. Yeah. Give it to me. No. I'm listening, I'm telling you. I want that. No. Give no. it to me. Here, Mick. To you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hurry up, Paul. There's not much time left. All right, all right. I'm sure there's nothing to it. Which wire are you going to cut? What do you mean? Well, it's like they say in all the American films. Is it the red one or is it the blue one? Well, which one? Well, they usually go for the red one. Right, red it is. Nothing's happened. That's exactly what happens in the films. You... I'll go for the blue one. Now what? We're all going to be frozen to death. Well, third time lucky, eh? Um, uh, that one. There, that's done it. It certainly has. It's speeded up. Oh, run, Barry, run. I'll be with you in a sec. <laughs> Three, two, one. Nothing's happened. We've saved the world. <laughs> Something must have gone wrong with it. Oh, dear. i better put this back, then. <laughs> the ruby. And that's how I disabled the device. You did? Barry, dear, I'm so proud of you. Extra jelly for you, I think. Oh, thank you. Mind you, I can't take all the credit. Paul did a lot, too. I suppose he was the one that got the machine working again. It certainly was. Oh, yes. I'm very good with mechanical things, you know. You are? Oh, I certainly am. In that case, you can turn it off again this instant. <laughs> Looks like Maddie's made the, made the machine start. Oh, because that means Maddie's weather machine's got the real ruby in it. Which means the weather would go crazy. Not go crazy. I think it's already started. Already started? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs>